Have you ever experienced this? Getting out of bed first thing in the morning, you put some weights on your feet and your feet don't seem like they are up to the task. You're stiff, you feel sore, your Achilles tendon is painful. This is what we refer to as morning stiffness. It's also called a rising pain. It's probably one of the most common questions that I'm asked when I'm consulting to people who have Achilles tendinopathy or Achilles tendinitis. So in this YouTube video, I'm going to tell you everything about morning stiffness, what it is, what you can do about it, and a lot more. So if you haven't come to the channel before. My name is Professor Peter Maliaris. I am a physiotherapist and a researcher in the first ranked tendinopathy expert worldwide, according to the website Expertscape. So this channel is all about providing you people with Achilles tendinopathy and other tendinopathy conditions with the right information so you don't get the run around. If you find it useful, put a comment below if you would like me to review some of the other YouTube videos from other people on morning stiffness and Achilles tendinopathy in general because boy there is a lot of stuff that can lead you down the wrong path. So first tip is why do you have this stiffness and soreness? Well the, re the, the reason you have it is because you most likely have a condition called Achilles tendinopathy also referred to as Achilles tendinitis. They're effectively the same thing and it is a condition that causes pain in the tendon particularly when you're loading the tendon when you're doing active things primarily things that put a lot of stress on the tendon like walking and running and playing sports that involve those activities so that's likely why or what it is now the question that you may be wondering is so what causes Achilles tendinopathy or Achilles tendinitis I made a 25 minute video specifically covering some of those questions. I'm going to put a link in the description below so have a look at that. But in brief, Achilles tendinopathy, Achilles tendinitis is caused sometimes by doing too much activity. So and, and commonly that's things like you know starting to do a new walk or walking more or you picked up some running or some other activities that stress the tendon out. So in effect doing too much too soon. The thing that you need to consider about causes is that it's it's unfortunately not that simple. So there's a whole stack of other reasons that can make you susceptible to developing Achilles tendinopathy as well and these are things like life stresses, the way you handle stress, how much you sleep, factors related to your general health, all these things can have an impact and we're going to talk about treatments further down in our top tips. Really important to understand the contributors and deal with the contributors that are most important for you. Okay so that's why you have this stiffness feeling. Let's move on to tip number two. Tip number two is why is it stiff? Why does it feel stiff? What causes that stiffness feeling? And this is an important one. People often have the wrong impression, the wrong idea about what could be causing that stiffness. There are two theories that I want to go through today. The first one is that you have the stiffness in your tendon because of structural reasons. So with Achilles tendinopathy they often notice that their tendon's a little bit thicker. It does swell when they've got this problem and they often panic and think all right so it's it's swollen you know this is a problem what's going on. It's actually interesting to know what the swelling is caused by. Most of the time the swelling is caused by an increased amount of water in the tendon. So tendons made of two things solid substances which is the collagen and that's a protein in your body that's really good at resisting forces stretching type force but you also have proteins that bind water and they are in between the collagen different parts of the tendon. So one of the things that happens when you have this condition and you start to develop this problem in your tendon is you start to get more water building up inside the tendon and that causes the swelling and that appearance within the tendon okay so it's not swollen usually because there are tears or because it's full of inflammation as some people think it's mostly related to the fact that there's more water within the tendon okay so that's one potential theory that it's just the structure. So think about it this way, when you're sleeping at night, your, your feet are relaxed, you're not putting stretch through the tendon, it has an opportunity to fill up with water, you have more water within the tendon, you start to walk in the morning and it feels stiff because of that. That's one theory. Second theory is that it's all about the nervous system and this is the theory that I think is more likely to be 
true. So the nervous system is constantly scanning the environment and it's scanning for sensations. So if you've had this Achilles problem developing for a while, your nervous system is really clued into sensations coming from your Achilles tendon. So first thing in the morning, it hasn't had those sensations for a while because you've been resting. Uh, and by the way, the morning stiffness, and we call it morning stiffness, but a rising pain is probably more accurate because it does happen, and you would have noticed this when you've been sat at your desk for a while, you start to stand up and walk around. You also get the same sensation. So the nervous system is sampling all the time, and it's, it's clued into your Achilles tendon because it knows there's a problem there. And then first thing in the morning or when you get up from your desk, you feel that it's stiffer because the nervous system's getting these sensations and it's warning you again, there's something going on there. But that warning is actually, and this is the important part. Most people think, oh, that's, you know, it's a warning. It means that maybe something's tearing or something's, you know, I shouldn't be doing that. But actually it's really the opposite. When you're feeling, that morning stiffness and that you know can, sometimes it can be really severe and people you know can struggle to even put their toes on the ground it's not you're not damaging the tissues more you're not tearing the tissues you're not you're not making it worse you're not making the tissue changes worse it's just a signal to say hang on a second there's something going on there okay and as you start to walk on it the body starts to ignore that signal then you can walk and you don't have that morning stiffness anymore that feeling anymore you start to warm up so that that's most likely what's going on there it's, it's related to your nervous system not related to damage not related to tearing okay a lot of people will say and this is some of the stuff that i heard on the internet on youtube when i was researching this lots of people say it is a sign of damage that is not true Okay, it is not going to make your tendon worse. Okay, alrighty, so we've covered our first three tips. What is it? Why does it feel stiff? Should I be worried? Now we're gonna go on to the fourth tip. And the fourth tip is, is it okay to be active? Yes. So we've already talked about this symptom as not something that's damaging. So you just wanna warm yourself up and just get into it and don't worry too much about it. It's actually much more important to be concerned about how much pain you have with activities, particularly activities that load the tendon a lot. If you're getting lots of pain with those activities, you might need to modify in the short term. With morning stiffness, the best advice is as long as it is stable. So you, you might have some mornings where it's a bit more than usual and that's because you've done something and that's okay. As long as it then recovers back to your usual morning stiffness in a day or two, that's okay. You might have some mornings where it's not, not so bad and that's okay as well. So okay for the morning stiffness to fluctuate a bit. It's far better with Achilles tendinopathy to remain active, a little bit of pain, even with running and with walking and jumping activities is not going to be a problem long-term. So you can still be active. Okay, so we're gonna move on to tip number five. Tip number five is what can you do about the morning stiffness? What can you do to get it better? So again, refer to the 25 minute video on Achilles tendinopathy, which is gonna be in the description below. But in brief, Achilles tendinopathy management is quite simple when you look at the things that actually really work. There's a lot of stuff that people talk about and that is offered and that you might sometimes, unfortunately, pay a lot of money for that doesn't actually work. So you do have to be a little bit informed. The most important thing is to look at what's contributing for you. What are the key factors? Is it something to do with your activity or is it something to do with other factors in your life? It might be related to how you've modified your activities because of the pain. The second thing is to try and adjust your activity in the short term if it's too much. And that is usually because your pain is too much during or after those activities. And then once you're able to tolerate those activities, then gradually going back to them. So that is also a really important part. And there's lots of other treatments, but most of them are not, not as important as those two very simple steps, okay? But you have to persevere with them and do them really, really well. And that's where some people might need a little bit of help with that, okay? And you can save yourself lots of wasted time, lots of wasted money in the long term if you follow those steps. Okay, the last tip is about how long is the morning stiffness likely to last? Well, the morning stiffness, for most people, unfortunately, lingers. And this is an important point to take away with you. 
don't be surprised if your morning stiffness is still there once you're able to do the walking with much less pain or no pain and you're able to do your sport or you're running with much less pain or no pain you might still have some morning stiffness it tends to linger that's why it's not so much the best outcome to follow over time it's good to just monitor if it's really getting much worse but aside from that if it's stable-ish just ignore it put it to you, the back of your mind over time it will improve. There's, it's not uncommon for patients to have the morning stiffness for a year or two years, sometimes even longer. They still have that reminder that they've still got the problem there, but everything else is better. So they can go back to their activities, they can do all the things they love doing. So that's the key thing that you should focus on, okay? Now, I'm gonna finish by just giving you a couple of tips about what you can do in the morning. First thing in the morning, when you feel the morning stiffness. First of all, gradually get out of bed, allow yourself to warm up. Second of all, if you feel that the morning stiffness is really strong, have your shoes next to your bed and get straight into your shoes, okay? Walking around in shoes will be better, less painful than walking around with barefoot. Number three, okay, just start to get moving. Uh, you can do some calf raises, you can paddle your, your ankle up and back, you can do some um, isometric holding, whatever it is, any loading will help. Even walking, just doing some walking will help, okay? So these are the things you can do to get it better, but the most important thing is don't worry about it. It is completely normal, it lingers, and it's not damaging, it is not a problem, okay? So hopefully that's been helpful. Uh, for you. If you would like some more information uh, or if you've got any questions, just put a question into the comments uh, and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.